What's up, everyone? Guess what? I am back with another one. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Life is Strange 2, episode 4. You know what? And it's called Faith. Let's get right into it. We're back, baby. I am so excited to see what happens. My boy Sean lost an eye. That's all I know. Like, no idea where Daniel is. It didn't show him in the end. Cassidy seems injured. Finn seems injured. Uh, Meryl seems he's like he's fucking dead. I don't know. Maybe Cassidy. It did say they died, so I don't know. Maybe not. Man, I'm so excited to get into this. Like, I am so intrigued to see what happens, man. Like, how is this going to start? Like, how is it going to fucking start, bro? We're about to find out. Ooh. Once upon a time. I got goosebumps. In a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. So I'm going through this again. And they had to go on the run. Yep. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick and they had to move on. This is going by the quicker. Brothers made it to the home of their ancestors, and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. They soon entered the old forest of the giants where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. Hmm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. They were happy to find others like them, and everybody loved the little wolf who was growing up fast. His power was growing too. Yep. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother hooked up with a cool she dog. <sighs> they had their own adventures. Hell yeah. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf. Oh yeah, I forgot he got shot. And destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded. And worse. He didn't know where the little cub was. Oh no. What happened to Daniel? Did he like just vanish? Man. That gives me anxiety every time I read that. Choose wisely. Ugh. Episode 4, here we go. How are we starting it? Beautiful skies. It's the lake, right? Wait a minute. This is the park we was at. In the first episode, I think. Or second. So it's taking us back here? It is. You can tell. They did this in episode three, too. Taking us back before we get to see what happens. There's our boy, Daniel. Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. It's all good. Wish 
I listened when he tried to stop me from going with Finn. I was too pissed. It's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? Huh. I'm alone, Sean. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. All my friends yes. are dead. I, I swear. Push me to the edge. What the fuck? Uh, uh, stop! Oh, f what? Wait, what? Where are we? That was a nightmare. Where are we? Hospital? Hospital North Northern California, two months after the blast at Merrill's. Another two months has passed, guys. He's been out of it for two months? Where's Daniel? Fuck. Daniel. I keep having these nightmares since I came out of the coma. He was in a coma. Yay. Stupid reality shows. <laughs> Leftovers. This must be my punishment. <laughs> Sketchbook. Ugh, can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man. Was in a coma for weeks, blind and fucked. Plus police and police custody, going to jail soon. Hospitals freaked me out. Hate this. Where's Daniel? I'm scared. Try to draw to kill time. This room is like a cage, but I suck now. No depth. Perception, no art, no shit. Focusing equals immediate migraine. Going crazy in here. Woke up crying. Damn. Special secret agent Floor, she's trying to bond with me. Trap me or trust me. So fucked. Cops still can't find Daniel after the explosion. So he's out there. Alone. Happy birthday, Daniel. Wherever you are, and I know. Claire and Stefan sent me a nice letter. So lonely I read it twice. Weird how I missed him now. So cool to hear from Captain Spirit too. Glad he's doing fine. Hell yes. Fuck yes. He's alive. Thank God. Thank God that boy's alive, man. Jeez. My Joey sketch doesn't look bad. So glad he's around. Wish I could hear Cat Cass play again. All those songs are gone. But not our time. Together. I fucked Daniel up. I let Finn become his brother. Damn. Damn, that was deep. That's a deep cut. Mm. Agent Floor's card? Yeah. Thanks for the card, Agent. Can't wait to text you. <laughs> Call anytime, day or night, if you want to talk. Dude, this is wild. Can't catch shit. <sighs> Zero depth perception. Yeah, bro. Sports. Like, losing the eyes a lot. Like, that's just... That's crazy. Yeah. Well, I, Thanks I, for the card, agent. I was trying to look... No. Yeah. Thanks for the card, agent. Oh. Can't wait to text you. Cassie's letter. I was trying to look out the window. I guess you can't. I miss Cass so much. Wish I could hold her. She's alive. Thank God, though. This is a lot. Bet you're surprised to hear from me. I found out we're in the same hospital from the police after we were questioned when I was checked out a month ago. So I took the chance to write and hope you get with it. Hope you get this. Wish I could say everything I want. But you never know who's reading, right? If anybody else is reading this, fuck you. I do hope you're okay after what happened. As for me, I don't remember much except the explosion at Mario's office and I woke up in the hospital with blunt trauma. Healing what the doctors call blast lung injury. Just glad that I can still play guitar and sing now that I feel like it. You learned a shitload about medicine stuck in the hospital bed, and I'm sure you know my sweet compadre. Still working on that es the Espan Espanol, miss my lessons and my teacher. Y you probably know more what's going on than me, but Hannah, Penny, and I were released from without charges. The police were stoked to bust a farm of drug traffickers rather than us gutter punks toying in the field. We asked about you and Daniel, but got no answer. Surprise. So when Finn and you gone, our... 
real family is kind of broken out now. We're just a lonely trio train hopping up and down the stay, but it feels like we're going in a loop to nowhere. Hand and opinion aren't the same, and we fight too much. I'm not even sure we'll be together for much longer. Mm, shit changes, right? May I have a whole new set of blue songs for the road. I know you're going to trial soon over the Seattle situation, and you will get the justice and freedom you deserve. You and Daniel are amazing brothers, and I hope you find your way home soon. I hope we can swim naked again under a new, a new moonlight. It's a big world, and maybe we'll meet again someday. I'll always be singing your song. Love and peace, Cassidy. I had to read that all, man. That was touching. I'm glad she still thinks about us. That's awesome that she's alive. Yep, still got the tat. This is crazy. Didn't think this game would start off this way. Not a not a chance I ever thought it would start off like this. Okay, I guess I'll go call what's that? Joey. Anybody? Um can't really do nothing else, I don't think. Is there anything else to look at? Oh, this day. That's more letters. Maybe I should have let Daniel help Stephen. Sean, we were grateful to find out that you're safe and awake. The police contacted us when we were, you were found unconscious in I ain't gonna try to say Humboldt County. We wanted to visit you in the hospital, but St Stephen's leg had to recover after his surgery. He's finally walking again. We also want you to recover ASAP, and the doctors say that you came out of the coma stronger than before. The most important thing now is to find Daniel. We are helping the police in any way we can. Do we want to find him too, Sean? Hopefully this reflects well during your trial. We know this must be hard for you after everything you and your brother have been through. You're both in our thoughts and prayers every day and night. We hope to visit you and Jolene Shore as soon as we can. Jolene? Jolene? I don't know how to say that. Take care, Claire and Stefan. P.S. Chris insisted to write a little note. It's attached to this letter. P.P.S. He doesn't know Daniel is missing. <laughs> so glad Chris is okay. That kid is a real superhero on his own. Hell yeah. Hi, Sean Daniel. Hope you're all okay. I'm fine, but I miss both of you a lot. After my accident, I had to wear a stupid cast forever. I was trapped in my room all winter. Sucks. But summer is here and I can play again. All the snow is gone. You should come back to see Beaver Creek without the snow. I'll be waiting for you. Chris, Captain Spirit. P.S. We need to save Beaver Creek from Swamp Books. So happy he's alive. Do I just look at the call button? Joey must hate the sound of this thing. Yo. Way out here. Is that Joey? <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. Hey. That looks like it might have been food. <laughs> Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm. I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that smile. <laughs> Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? No. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before... Mm, you know. Before they... Check you out. Check me out to Juvie. Damn. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. This is crazy. Yes. Nice retina response. Okay. Now, try to follow the light as well as you can. Okay. Follow the light by moving your head. Come on, Sean. You've been there before. I got you, homie. I like Straining too hard? Headache? <sighs> nah. I just can't really focus today. Dude, Sorry. this Remember, is wild. To see objects on your left side, you gotta turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No rush. This is tough. 
Move your pan with this. Your depth perception will always be affected. Oh shit. So you gotta try harder. <sighs> shit. Is this it? Yeah, I know. What? It's hard. <sighs> Come on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Damn. Yeah, that's enough. Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. Here, read this. Patient cleared. Get me out of here. Patient cleared. I am a pirate. <laughs> Before I uh, pick a choice, I haven't commented on uh, Sean's hair. It's fucking all gone. Like, I got him a fade. Cut all his hair off. Buzz cut, man. Um, so that's wild. And I like Joey a lot, too. He seems like a cool doctor. I will say I'm a pirate. I'm a pirate without a patch. <laughs> Arr. I'd be more worried if you weren't such a smart ass. <laughs> you can try, but you can't rig the exam, Sean. <sighs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your Damn. vision has improved a lot. Now you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dress hey. up. Sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Come on. He <sighs> ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch him. Yes, true. Your job. Is that Agent Flores? Yep. Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Sure. This is awesome. I'll swing by later, Sean. Love Joey. Stay cool. I've known Joey for like three minutes and he's already like one of my favorite characters. <laughs> Joey's the man. He seems like so such a cool dude, man. I love so, it. So how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court. Jolina Shore. For the murder Jolina of Shore. a Seattle police officer. Whoa. You might spend the rest of your life in prison. Or you can talk to me. Innocent until proven guilty. Like you care, didn't kill anyone. Uh, I didn't kill anyone. I didn't kill anyone. The end. So, who did? You do know. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? He was killed. Yeah, he came outside. Then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being... Who knows? I hear you, but... You sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no! Look at me! Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. <sighs> I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus three seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. Nobody's statement matches with each other. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. Okay, fuck. The robbery. Whose idea was it? His oh my god. Or yours? Huh? Dude, what the fuck? They gonna really do this shit right here, right now? Are they gonna do this shit right here, right now? Mmm. Mmm. 
I do not want to throw Finn on the bus, although it was his fault. We all know snitches get stitches. I said we all did it. We all did. Meryl totally ripped us off. Not a good guy. That's what happens when you mess with drug traffickers. Uh, Daniel wanted to leave. Daniel wanted to leave, but he's just a kid. And I didn't listen. Why didn't you try to get help? Go to the police? <laughs> oh, yeah. The police would help me. After they shot my dad and accused us of murder. Great plan. So Finn wanted to get revenge on Meryl, too. And what about Cassidy? Why was she into it? To get even? She was against it. She was against this stupid plan. She had nothing to do with it. Your friends are learning the hard way. Didn't want this. I didn't want any of this shit. Now I gotta live with it. You're not alone, Sean. There are people that want to help. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. I guess your grandpa can walk now after his surgery. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. This is wild, guys. This is so wild. I'm like on the hot seat right now. I don't know what to say. I don't know what's right. I I want to lie, but then again, I want Daniel to get found. But then again, you ain't supposed to lie to the cops. But sorry, Finn. <sighs> she didn't want anything to do with this. Wonder what Meryl told the cops about the robbery. Mm. He didn't die. Sorry, Hannah. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. No doubt. Who's she talking to? So I got buzz cut, one less eye, scarred up, getting interrogated right now. This is not looking good for Sean. Daniel's gone, doesn't have no clue where Daniel's at. He's a kid on his own out there. Sorry about that. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. Damn it. My cat's outside again. He keeps doing this. Like, he'll go outside, right? And just go to my window and just start meowing. Then I try to go open the door for him. He won't, he won't even come in. He'll just, like, stand in my window. It's like, what are you doing, dude? Like, just come inside. What do you want from me? He just cries and cries like I don't know what he wants. We feed him, we give him good food. He continues to do this. I'm not I'm not a cat expert or anything, you know. Uh let me pause it and see what I see what I can do with this cat. Sorry guys, give me a minute. All right, I'm back. He didn't come inside like at all. Like I went out there and he wasn't I called for him, he didn't show. I went outside to my window, he wasn't there. Like I had no idea where he went. Try to get him inside. He didn't want to come in, I guess. So, not my fault. I just got to, I got to feel he's, he's going to keep doing this like all night. Like, he's toying with me, guys. He's playing games. So, if you hear a cat, it's on my end. And I'm sorry about that. For how long? I, I don't forget what she said. Uh, I was going to say for how long. For how long? It's been over two months. How are you going to find him? We have a lot of people looking for your brother. Trust me, we want to find him too. Yeah, yeah. So you can lock him up too, right? Whatever. Anyway, 
Thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Damn. This is so fucked, bro. I have no idea what's gonna happen. No idea. Love this game. Look out. I My boy. Got the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So. How did your interview with Scully go? What the fuck was that? Um, interrogation. You mean interrogation? Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Thank you. Thanks, Joey. Want to tell that to the judges? I'm just saying, you don't deserve this. Now let's check this out. Oh, God. The healing is coming along nice. Just got to keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I want to hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things <laughs> change, huh? So positive. I hear you. I'm trying to be positive, but it's so hard. I know, I do, but I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Okay, I got you. Are we going to get to see it? I don't know if I want to or not. Coat the area using the swab and cream. Then wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. <laughs> Remember, you gotta do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch Oh shit. <laughs> Emergency. Damn. I'm out. And no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean. Check out that towel. Got your name all over it. <sighs> Catch you later. All right, Joey. Joey, you are her boss. Hell yeah, he is. Joey's the only one who helped me get through this shit. That's good. It's always good to have someone. Let's go check his pen like that, okay? Souvenir. <laughs> I guess it's my souvenir now. Yeah, that's the first one. Sacred Hope Hospital. Nice. Mm, got one by a car. A lot of shit. Okay. All right, look. The drawings in the trash. No, no. I miss Cass so much. Wish I could hold her. Yep. My art is trash now. Damn, that sucks. Check out this towel. What? Wow. Haven't seen you in a long time. 
Nice. That's awesome, Joey. Appreciate it. Sketchbook. I so know dope. I fucked Daniel over. Again. Mm. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A ten-year-old by himself? Out there? He might go back to Seattle. But too far. Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Or the cops. For sure. I don't know where he could be. Wait. What's that? Super Wolf. Huh? Does that mean... It means that Daniel... Daniel's with Jacob somewhere. He's safe. The fuck? I could see him again. Huh. Had a few beers. Daniel's asleep. Same night every night. He wants to train more, but we don't have time. We gotta hide. It's not easy. Sean, I brought a blanket and a few other things from your tent. We would give them back to you when you come looking for your Super Wolf comic. It's waiting for you, Jake. What? Two-story house shit. F I fucking we almost swear well fuck 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 then he messed up again gotta fix this shit so fucking tired of running away. What? Alright, how do I get out of this? Haven Point, Nevada. Ah, oh, met the new workers from Europe, Anders and Ingrid, or Ingrid. Cute couple makes me want to travel overseas someday. Had a talk with Jacob. He's like a little kid. He lives in some religious community from Haven Point, Nevada. Looks fine here. Free. I gotta get to him. I gotta find a way to escape. Tonight. Tonight? Damn, we doing this shit right now, huh? I got a feeling we was gonna escape, though. There's no way we was gonna sit in jail the whole episode. Like, come on. It's obvious. We're definitely getting the fuck out of here. Before the cops get us. And Joey's probably gonna help us out. I got a feeling he might help us. Sacred Hope Hospital. Okay. Time to clear off now. It's a pretty dope name for a this hospital. This whole hospital is so quiet. So don't make any noise. And find a way to get the hell out of here. Look under bed. Nada. Nada what? Bed sheets, window. We about to <sighs> need a superhero to open that shit. <laughs> Inspect. Hope my last view of this world isn't this window. One stupid car. And I'm out of here. It's dead tonight. Works for me. Hell yeah. I could climb down the side of the building. Or die trying. <laughs> yeah. Anything else to look at? Nope. Alright. Close curtain. Can I have some privacy, please? <laughs> Let's see. 
I just gotta get past that locked door and an angry guard. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard, huh? Hopefully not. <sighs> Wish I could just walk out. Find a way to escape the hospital. All right. I'm pretty sure the scaffolding leads into this room. My backpack has got to be somewhere around here. Oh, yeah. It's guard. Sweet dreams, my friend. Maybe I can trick him. Say I need an aspirin or something. Aspirin medicine? Hey, sir. Hello. Jesus can even take a nap, okay? <laughs> What's wrong now? Head hurts. I need aspirin. That's a sad story, but I'm not a pharmacy, kid. Well, shit. I could trick him into coming in here and then knock him out. Damn, all right. That's what you gotta do. If that's what you gotta do. Knock him out with what? There must be a way to leave this room without alerting anyone. I don't know. Is this the bathroom? I can't see nothing in here. Like at all. Oh, turn the light on. Hey, what is this? This one isn't screwed in. I could pull it off, but it's gonna be loud. Check I. Oh shit. Ugh. 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 Are we gonna see it? Oh my god. Ugh. Ugh. Saw a little bit of it. I don't want to. I don't know if I want to see any more of that. Yeah, that metal bar isn't going anywhere. I could tear this one off. He says it's gonna make a lot of noise. Can I go back and open this? <sighs> Can't open that window with my bare hands. Go near the bar, huh? Hmm. All right. <sighs> How long's it been? Fuck. Okay. I'm going to end the video right here, guys. Uh, I think this is going to lead to like a big cutscene. And it might... I don't want this to be another 50-minute video. So all that being said... With a, uh, damn, can't talk. Maybe... Hold on. I could get Joey to help me. Would he get busted? I mean, probably. I don't want to get him in trouble. But anyway. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Can't wait to see how we break out of this hospital. Go figure this out. I'm going to end the video right here. With all that being said, see you in the next one. Stay different from everybody else. Peace.